All right, we are looking at uh, CC3 2 dash, or excuse me, 2.1.6, section 2.1.6, 2-61. Specifically, um, I wanted to make sure we we're reviewing unit rates. So uh, how to do unit rates, and that's going to be part of this problem. So I figured I might as well do one from your book um, in reviewing unit rates. So one of Teddy's jobs at home is to pump gas for his family's sedan truck. When he fills up the sedan with um, sedan and truck, sorry. When he fills up the sedan with 12 gallons of gas, he notices it costs that it costs him fifty dollars and twenty eight cents. So right there, I have a ratio. I'm going to write my ratio. So we know that it's uh, uh, for every twelve gallons of gas, it's fifty dollars and twenty eight cents. Right? That's my a ratio that I can write. It's not a unit rate. It's a ratio. So on A, though, A says, how much does one gallon of gas cost? This is also called a unit rate. So now this is where I have to find the unit rate. But I want to find the unit rate where it's one gallon of gas. So what I want is I want to know the cost for every one gallon. The cost for every one gallon. Well, if you notice here, I've already, I have gallons on top and money on bottom. And I just wrote it that way because that's what was listed. It gave me gallons before it talked about money. So I'm going to take this ratio and just rewrite it where gallons are on the bottom and money's on top. And that's fine. When you talk about ratio, they can be turned up since upside down because it's just comparing, right? So instead, I'm going to say the money, $50.28 for every 12 gallons of gas. So again, still a ratio, but now it's money over gallons, which is what I want. So here's where it is. Now I got to get this to become money over one gallon, right? I need, I need to figure out what is my cost here? What is the, the cost for one gallon? Well, if you think about ratios act as fractions, the rules of fractions apply to ratios. So if I need 12 to become a one, I'm going to just use a giant one and divide both top and bottom by the same thing because 12 divided by 12 is one. So as long as I do that on the bottom and top, all it is is just using a giant one, which doesn't, doesn't change the value. It just makes it, in this case, a unit rate. So 50 and uh, $50.28 divided by 12. I'm going to definitely use a calculator for that. When it, on the homework, it's okay to use a calculator unless it says do not use a calculator, okay? So in this case, we're going to say 50.28 divided by 12, and it gives me a nice number, $4.19. So my unit rate is $4.19 for every one gallon. That now is a unit rate. And that's how you find it. It's get the denominator to be a 1. Of, of what you're trying to find the rate of. In this case, the rate was money per gallons. That's what I wanted was the money per gallons, okay? So now let's go back up to B. So this was A, this was A I just did. So B goes on and says, um, how, much, how much will it cost him to fill up the truck if it needs 25 gallons of gas? Show your work. So for B, we know the unit rate, $4.19 for every one gallon, right? That's my unit rate, $4.28 for one gallon. Now I have, according to the problem, I have to figure out how much this is going to cost for 25 gallons. So again, it's now just taking and converting the, it acts like a fraction. I'm going to multiply by a giant one this time. And the giant one is going to be 25 over 25 because one times 25 is 25, so that would give me my 25 gallons. And then $4.19 times 25 is equal to $104.75. So that's my answer for B. It's going to cost $104.75 to fill up uh, 25 gallons of gas. Okay. And last one, C. 
C says, uh, when Teddy, when Teddy filled up the tank on his moped, it cost five dollars and three cents. How much gas did he did his moped need? Explain how you know. Okay, so um, we know that the cost of the gas at the same station. So basically, we figured out the unit rate, which is four dollars and nineteen cents for every one gallon, is the cost of gas at this station. And now he's filling up his moped. And what did it say? It said it only cost him $5.03. And, and notice where I put this. I put it on top because I have money on money. Your unit money needs to be on top because that's where your unit rate is. Where it's where money is for your unit rate. So the question is, how many gallons? Now I'm figuring out how many gallons is that? So this one's a little bit more tricky because we have a situation where a giant one isn't obvious, right? $4.19, make that 503, not so obvious. And I don't know what I'm trying to get an X here is when I don't know the gallons. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this without the units. So that way I can see the numbers. 4.19 over 1 is equal, is equal to uh, 5.03 over X. So now I have a ratio situation. And when I have a ratio with just values here, the easiest way to solve for a missing piece is using cross multiplication. So I cross multiply. So I'm going to get 503, 5.03, $5.03 times 1 is 5.03 is e equal to, remember the equal sign just con continues on down. And then $4.19 or 4.19 times X is 4.19X. And then to solve this equation, you divide both sides by 4.19 that's how you're going to get that x alone right so we get our x alone i have x equals and this is again where i'm i'm going to use a calculator for that one um so 5.5.03 divided by 4.19 oops 5.03 divided by 4.19 equals so it comes out to be and i'm going to round to the 10th, it comes out to be 1.2. So that tells me what? That tells me that he, he um, filled up his moped with 1.2 gallons of gas, okay? For four, I can't even go further, four, five dollars and three cents. All right, there we go.